Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to go over the new search form style setting that is coming in Store Locator Plus 4.7.10 as well as My Store Locator Plus 17.8, both of which will be releasing in the next week to uh, four weeks, depending on which service you're on. So here I've got the WordPress plugin. I've got Store Locator Plus and Experience. I'm running the 4.7.10 uh, beta releases now while we're still finishing up features. And one of the things that I am testing on the new build is the experience uh, add zip code to the search box. So what that does is it will do an autocomplete based on your list of locations. And when a user starts typing a zip code, as soon as they get the third character, it will pre-fill that list uh, for them and give them some suggestions. So I'm going to show you how that works so you get an idea of, of what's going on here. So here's my search. I start typing a zip code. It queries the location list and it shows you a list of all the zip codes that start with 294 that are locations in the database. So that's a setting that's available in the experience plugin for WordPress as well as the power level of the MySLP service if you're deploying on non-WordPress sites. Now one of the things you'll notice here is the styling. This is actually using a base styling for jQuery. That's something that we have added in 4.7.10. So I'm going to go show that to you so you get an idea of what it's like without it. The new setting is under Settings, Search, and you'll see Search Form Style. You'll have the option of None, which is the default on Install, and Base. None does not apply any special styling to jQuery Interactive Elements. The reason we did this is to allow site designers to build their own custom CSS and style that so it integrates well with their website. As you can see in the example I'm about to show you, my default theme that I'm using does not apply styling to jQuery elements. So if I go to that same page now that I've got this set to none, and I type in zip code, you can see that background's transparent. That's the default for this theme. I'm running a very simplified WordPress theme on this particular site. Uh, so it is not filling in the background, and that's by design. So with 4.7.10 of the Store Locator Plus WordPress plugin or 17.8 of My Store Locator Plus, which will be out later this month, you now have a new option to change some default stylings. Now this also will work in conjunction with the Premiere add-on for Premiere members or for enterprise level members of MySLP, where you'll have additional options. There are some other jQuery themes that we have, a dark theme and a theme called Vader, for example, that will change the drop-down menus and so forth on that interface. So in a different uh, presentation, we'll show you that when we do the Premiere uh, updates for 4710, and we'll show you some of the different styles that can happen and it can change more than just that automatic um, drop-down. It can also change, uh, for example, the style of this default browser drop-down and other elements like that. So as always, thank you for supporting Store Locator Plus. Thanks for watching.